that's my neighbor over here had uh, bees in his the neck of his fifth wheel just a few weeks ago and um, I, sh I helped him out with that and um, I told him I said you need to seal this thing up I showed him what I had done to my son's fifth wheel by sealing it up because he had a bad bird problem every year you know birds would live in his in the neck of his RV under uh, over um, the top of the the pen area and um, I showed this guy what I had done to help Logan out you see that bird flying around the fifth wheel there well last night um, I was talking to the guy I said you have you met your new neighbors yet? He goes, no, I said, you got birds in your fifth wheel. He goes, you're kidding me. I said, no. <laughs> you told me that was gonna happen. Uh -huh. I don't know why I don't hear good. Don't, don't four, listen to them three or four in there. So he said, well, I'm leaving next week um, to go to Texas. I said, well, I mean, you know, they're not going to be ready. They're, they're baby birds. I gave them a box. You can see the box behind my truck on the ground. I said, put the birds, put the nesting in this box, put the birds in the box and set it, you know, under your fifth wheel. I said, tomorrow, you know, the, 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 the parents will hopefully find the birds in the box and, and, uh, tomorrow I'll just gradually start moving that box over here to where right there I have another bird nest right there hey big guy hey big guy they're not very chatty <laughs> it's a good neighbor and I made I put some some roofing on top of that one and I put another set of roof you know uh, corrugated plastic right there so I'm gonna put that bird nest in that bottom shelf right there I just want to make there's two birds flying around the fifth wheel they want to make sure of course that they can't get in and I want to make sure that they know I want to see them interact with the birds in the box and once they do that I'm gonna start moving that box a little bit until I get it over in this area and then I'm going to gradually raise it up to that second shelf and then stick the whole package in there the plan is working but you know every time I go out there to move the box I'm disturbing one of the adult birds that's trying to feed these things so I've tied a piece of string to the box and I've pulled it under my step and brought the string inside so I should be able to I should be able to move the box without actually going outside and scaring everything off at least with the string now I can slowly move the box you know a foot at a time or so and uh get things moving along i gotta hurry up it's it's gonna start getting hot and i need a i need to get these things under cover pretty quick i have got a a new neighbor he's really <laughs> really noisy like at four o'clock this morning making noise i figured he lives in there somewhere. I just really don't know. I don't know where this thing is. It's a sounds like it's probably a tree frog. That's about what I fear. 
Oh, rascal. Well, slowly but surely, it's working. I've, there we go, perfect timing. I had to make a, a really long move, about six or seven feet, because the sun came over and was shining on them over there in front of the shed. So I had to pull them around the corner. And uh, I was kind of worried about that. But now that, now that everything's kind of getting closer and closer to the cages over there um we're almost home free <laughs> i've had to work pretty quickly just in the past 45 minutes i've been able to move that thing quite a bit and now i'm starting to move it up and every every time i move it the adult bird finds it no problem she comes in he or she comes in feeds the babies and leaves and i'll zip out there and move it a little bit more you know a little further up a little further up a little further up or now all i gotta do is start sliding it in place and i'm gonna just slide it right up in that hole um i went in there um i was actually gonna put it below that yellow sign that it's on top of now but uh what i realized is the other nest the other bird nest that was previously in that spot is now vacant so <laughs> um must be a pretty pretty productive spot so i'm going to uh put this bird nest basically right beside the other vacant bird nest and uh i think things will work out really well probably even before noon 